Okay, so I've been waiting for this package for quite some time. Um, well, not as long as some people have, but this is Nolo VR. And what this is, is it allows you to have, with your mobile phone, it allows you to have spatial, you know, like tracking so you can move in space or whatever with your mobile phone, what do you call it, positional tracking. And uh, I think you can have like <clears throat> the full room, room scale uh, VR with this. Um, there's also a way to get um, one, uh, God, 360 uh, tracking, you know, like rotational. And if you plant it on the roof somehow, and then, you know, without that, it is, uh, I think, 180 or whatever the hell. Um, but I was actually expecting this tomorrow, but it came today. So, yay. One, whatever the fuck. But I'm going, I'm too tired really to use this thing today, but I don't think that that's going to get in the way, <laughs> even though I'm not going to want to do it. It's going to happen. So I'm opening it now. And you will get all that set aside. And this is the box. I'm not sure it's, okay, it opens like that. So it has the magnets and stuff. It's a nice box. Uh, this was a Kickstarter project. I did not back it. I don't normally back any Kickstarter because of the amount of problems that has. So this comes with uh, controllers too, motion controllers like the Vive and all that. This also works with other headsets. So if you have like, I think a DK2 and other ones, I believe they just started supporting the PSVR with this. Uh, so I could use it with your PC, I believe. But uh, yeah, so we have all these cables and fun stuff. So it's a USB cable. It's all micro USB. I'm not sure if this goes into the, if this goes into the phone. I'm going to need my um, adapter, but I have no clue what that really is. There's another thing that I haven't actually done any research on. Here's a Oh, this one actually has, so I guess this goes with your phone. So I'm using this with the Galaxy S8 and the Gear VR. And this should be the phone cable, I guess. It has uh, micro USB and USB-C as well as micro USB on it. And some kind of thing that nobody's going to read. These are the track motion controllers here. So they're like that. They have a, it feels like a real, a true analog trigger on the back, so that's nice. This presses down. People have complained that, huh, feels fine to me, but I saw a couple, if somebody was complaining that certain areas click down, you know, it was different, but it seems okay. Maybe they fixed that or that was just his controllers. That feels fine to me. I also don't have a Vive, or I wouldn't have been getting this. Uh, but, eh, feels fine to me. I don't know. And these, it has these uh, balls on top. Balls. <laughs> so, yeah. Sensor things. And then here's the base station. So you either put this wherever, or you mount it onto the ceiling or whatever. So this tracks you, I guess. Has a micro USB on the back. Focus. There you go. So micro USB, and I guess this is the power button or something. And then in here, we have the, uh, the this goes on your headset. And this is what gets tracked. For, uh, this is how it tracks your headset. So it's really, everything seems very fine. Nothing. Seems like a big fat piece of shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Seems okay. Um, <clears throat> the backers originally got this fairly cheap. Focus better than that. Okay. The backers got this fairly cheap compared to what it is now. I don't remember the price, but now this whole set is 200 bucks uh, plus tax. I don't know if there was shipping. I don't remember. But it was about a little over 200 bucks. But if you already have everything and um, 
it's a it's a heck of a lot cheaper than buying um uh oculus rift or htc vive so if you already have like a phone or whatever or a headset and all that you know two hundred dollars as opposed to if i was to get a vive or a uh let's say a, a, a um uh what is it a fucking uh oculus rift so if i wanted the controllers and the headset i'm not sure exactly how the controllers i know they're like I don't know, they're, I forget how much the controllers are, but with the headset, the controllers, the, the, I'd have to upgrade my entire computer to something that's like a thousand bucks, so that'll be like over fifteen hundred bucks uh, with the controllers and everything. So instead of doing that, I can just get this for two hundred, and that is done, taken care of. So now alternatively, uh, an alternative solution to something like this, which isn't as easy, it's a little more fiddling. There's the PS Move service, which requires a couple PS Move controllers and apparently doesn't work as well. But there's certain things you can do with it that you can't do with this. this. But apparently, it's very fiddly and it isn't the best. So, but I will be posting some videos of this. There are some cardboard apps also that, that support this, and um, it is you can support this on Android for whatever, for Gear VR, cardboard, or, uh, you know, Daydream VR, whatever. So it is possible to make apps for that too, and I think that's what they originally set out to do, is make this, like, um, something that allows you to play with those games, but then they supported... Bridge, which is how you get uh, this to work, and um, it, it's seeming like they are more interested in PC VR, even if they don't want to fully admit it. I don't know. It just doesn't look like that's the case. But I will be trying this out. I may try the mobile VR stuff first because I'm tired, and that may be easier to do. Um, and I'd like to try that because that's. That's fairly important to me to have that mobile solution that's completely without wires, but I do want to try out the PC VR because I know it's going to be better. Um, and that's that. So that's how that works. I finally got this thing. I was expecting it tomorrow, but it came today. And that's that. Um, is there any, wait, am I missing something? Maybe there's something in here and I didn't... Yeah, there's something in here. I completely forgot. There's another cable. So amazing. Another cable. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't... Oh, oh man, it's uh, a USB to USB USB pile of cables. It's like spaghetti. Yeah. And then there's that. Well, look at all the stuff I missed. So these these uh, these stick onto the headset. These uh, things. It I guess it depends on what headset you have. And there's a power brick. Uh, I guess something has to be charged. I think the base station or something has to be charged. The controllers? I don't know everything i don't know but uh there's a lot of a lot of cables like normal with uh, anything that involves pc vr so <sighs> yep but i get to try out finally these uh these uh higher end games uh that support any kind of positional tracking or whatever let's see if there's anything else in here oh there you go another thing look they're just throwing this stuff at me this is a just a uh thing for the one of these, um, whatchamacallits, that you put on the, I guess they're these. Do they only give you one? I guess they only give you one. Unless there's another thing in here. Nah, nothing in there. Okay, I guess they give you one. I can't even remember what they call these, lanyard? Um, well, I might as well open the power brick so you can see it. So I thought I had everything amazing a power brick yeah nothing special it's a power brick woohoo there you go all right so that i'm quite sure is everything i'll just make sure there's nothing under here no nothing all right it's a lot of stuff but it was cheaper unless you don't have uh, your phone or any other headset it was cheaper for me to get this over upgrading my pc for a thousand bucks getting a, a you know either an hdc5 for was it 700 or whatever and then or a um oculus rift for 500 and uh, you know uh the touch control uh, those touch controllers uh for whatever yeah uh 